All right, guys. So for today, we have a Nike sportswear box, uh, what I call the history box with all the logos. I was really happy to, and glad that I was able to uh, cop this pair for way under retail, considering the release price was 165. I definitely am not gonna pay that much for that. It's the Nike Air Penny 5 in the black Game Royale and white colorway. Otherwise known as the Orlando colorway, the original one that dropped uh, the first colorway of the uh, new envisioned uh, Penny 5. Uh, I bought these from uh, Jimmy Jazz, I think. Let me see. Yeah, for around $80, so about half of the uh, original price. And to be honest with you, I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, definitely a shoe that I uh, like at the beginning when it came out, but when I heard the release price, it's going to be 165. I was like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm not paying 165 um, for you know a shoe that's not considered my you know super favorite or old uh, retro or something that reminds me for the old days. I'm not. Uh, some of you might know. I'm not a huge fan of the new sneakers, you know, the new releases, the updated materials and all that, but for some reason this one I really liked uh, and I was glad I was able to buy them for much lower. Uh, material wise, uh, it's a kind of a weird combination between the uh, new book and this fuse material um, on, on, you know, upper portion. And then we have again new book on the ton with the one cent logo. Uh, smaller swoosh inside on the fuse again we have the new book and again the one cent logo on the back with the new book and on one of them it says the storm is over and the other one is part two heaven sent um, definitely a, a, a weird combination in in my opinion um, kind of like a between older style materials and newer materials uh, maybe that's why I really like them but uh, this combination between the new book and the fuse kind of works with this model um, this uh, swoosh right here is actually reflective I don't know if you can see that and of course the biggest thing is the uh, translucent outsole and the big Air Max unit on the heel very um, reminiscent to what the uh, <clears throat> penny line had back in the day pretty much all of his models had a big um, giant air max unit and this one is definitely big um, it's kind of a small swoosh right here on the outrigger of the outsole if you can see that i don't know if the camera picks it up but uh, it's there translucent outsole very nice uh, nicely done <laughs> as you can see some of uh, the yellowing has started right here which it's fine I, I don't mind that I don't care it's a normal process um, one cent logo here uh, traction pods that are herringbone throughout right here too and right here as well with a swoosh uh, carbon fiber plate or carbon graphite actually since Nike uh, slash Jordan brand have not used carbon fiber for a long time it's a different mixture it's a carbon um, um, graphite sorry I had a had a, a brain fart there for a second <laughs> but yeah I think uh, I think there's a performance review from Nightwing on these and uh, he said it's a, it's a great hooping shoe and I, I personally believe it is uh, since the traction is beast uh, the comfort is great on this pair um, I think it only the only cushioning is the heel the Air Max unit there is nothing on the forefoot or at least I don't feel anything usually back in the day uh, the models from for penny had a uh, air max unit in the back on the heel and they had a zoom on the forefoot or encapsulated air but this one uh, doesn't feel like it has anything just the phylon uh, midsole that they're used i really like how it's overextended here around the heel to provide your actual um, better support for your heel um, inside it's a sort of an inner booty 
kind of like similar to many Jordan models and um, you know uh, maybe the uh, Penny one not sure how the other ones were yeah I think most of them actually had that in their inner booty as well um, trying to get this size sticker that I really don't like being there because they stick and they, they uh, kind of leave their glue residue to the insole and then you suck as well but yeah the production date on these was uh, let me see if the camera picks that up uh, 05912 to 072112 so uh, tw two years ago those were released uh, we can consider them as a throwback Thursday now since it's been you know over two years since they came out with those uh, we know after that there was a tons of other colorways they came out but uh, I kind of you know always pictured and always uh, like when Penny was in Orlando so this particular colorway is what I associate with him and the other ones are uh, not that attractive for me as well uh, especially this portion here on the ton that it's definitely like the uh, old style Orlando uniforms that they wore back in the uh, early 90s let me see if I can pull the uh, insole out I think it's maybe it's glued in in the forefront I can't pull it out but uh, see th thickness wise it's it's not bad at all uh, definitely um, not as the thinnest I've seen uh, the insole one is uh, it's written Ballen is what I was born to do with Penny Hardware's signature and the other one uh, only has the, the Tennessee map with the star where Memphis is we know uh, that Penny is coming from from Memphis he played there uh, before he joined the NBA but yeah I mean what else I can say I really like this model uh, especially for $70 I think it was an amazing steal uh, they're definitely something that I would you know picture a penny uh, using and playing with uh, back in the old days so um, it's, it's a although you know some of the materials are all those new updated materials I still consider these um, you know sort of a of an old style classic just because of how they look and how they feel uh, I believe it's a very nice clean shoe and I'm, I'm glad that I was able to get it especially again for the you know almost half of the original release price which I will not ready to pay no matter how big fan of a of a penny I am Especially with the amount of sneakers I'm buying, every single dollar counts. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for your attention, for your support, and until next time, guys, stay tuned to CollectiveKicks.com for more sneaker news, reviews, and history articles. And you have a wonderful day.